Hello and good morning. Week five. Yeah, one runner, week five. 38 kilometer long run. Scary stuff. Even though I've done plenty of these before. It's still always a little bit daunting. Just trying to pack my bag as best I can. Um, I think I'm going to worry about my speaker. So much weight on this. Okay. Time to warm up. 38 kilometer long run do work out and I'll start it at the gate I've done everything I can for this I guess it's just time to start let's go Matt <laughs> five k's in Green apple. Still had a lot on my mind so far. But it's nice to just zone out and I'm going a bit close there. It's nice to just zone out a bit and uh, just listen to the music. I'm not worrying about average pace uh, for the whole run. Like I'm gonna have moments like this where I'm walking. Mm. So, welcome to my adventure. <sighs> mm. So if I can squeeze a little bit more of this gel out. Oh, my hands are a little bit cold, but that's okay. Mm. Delicious. Kilometer seven at the moment. And after that walk, it's like it's hard to gauge what pace you're doing. So I'm trying to go by feel and checking my heart rate monitor oh, every now and then. I just don't want to be in the yellow. Right now I'm in blue. Oh, that's good. There was one part when I was going into Glengarry that it was yellow going up that hill I think it's just from the little pee break that I had that being said I felt like I've been running too fast now and realize I had done a 536 when I'm mainly trying to stay around 540 so whoa four seconds difference by the end of 38 k's does make a difference. Uh, I've been thinking about a lot lately, trying to plan the future and what I'm trying to do. I think if you manifest things, actually it looks so nice up ahead. If you can manifest some things to aim for and to complete then I think you're doing well so I want to say that I already feel like I've completed the 100 miles at the Yuyangs and the hard part is getting out today to do this run I watched a video by Mark Lewis um, I've seen so many things lately about life, I guess, and all these things that I'm relating to people with, uh, like all these ex-Olympians and people moving on to the second half of their life, I guess, and Yeah. come out, step into the light and 
I've got a bit planned. I'll just keep up with my family though at the moment. But one thing was about how one person who was interviewed and he said by the time he was 22 he had achieved all he could that he could um while well, he's um ex-olympian he's gotten gold medals good morning and the next part of his life was after that to where he is now so he or where he used to be and he said oh I'm 38 now and it's like half his life was spent doing this the other half up until where he was I should say was spent doing this so it's like effectively he needs to double that and that's probably when his life will end and it's talking about what are you going to do to fill that gap and it's like I've been doing these training things for such a long time now and the amount of times that I feel like just calling it quits and just <sighs> check my heart rate blue, weird <laughs> uh, calling it quits in terms of enough with the hard training <sighs> that's why I feel like not even that enough with the hard training the, the hard work all the stuff you're doing now and just what do you want to be doing for the rest of your life and I think I know what I want to do which will be a big change for me but it is something I'm very passionate about uh, I wonder what I just ran I just want to see for a second come on where is it last pace all right cannot find it because this is such a trail run not what I normally have it on I think it was about 5 30 pace so slow down I need to pee Anyway, I'll update you soon. Bye. To and Gabby. <sighs> Feels like it's been a very long time since I ran this far out. <sighs> I wonder if the uh Taroga Marathon last year was the last time I was out here. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's just keep going. Nearly time for a gel. And then, I don't know. One and a half Ks. Bye. Less than a kilometre from my turnaround now. It's amazing how well you do when you just zone out. <sighs> After a turnaround, I'm not going to be restricting myself at the pace. Three hundred meters. Let's go. People know where I am. 
Ah, oh, the last few Ks. I don't think I've recorded much for this run today. I've just hit 35 Ks. Three Ks to go. Uh, well, a little bit less than that now. And I'll be finished. Yeah! Ba 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 da 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 <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. What a great song to run to. <laughs> bye bye. It's funny how things come down to the second. <laughs> so, part of the way back, I'm like, oh, it'd be awesome if I could average under five minutes 50 per kilometre for this given that I've stopped to walk and eat and all that I think it's really good this is like the strongest run that I've had with a backpack in I don't know how long and on this trail because it's like I know a lot of the time I'll do this trail and I don't know my legs just get to well they're sore but they just I don't know I end up walking a lot of the way back and it just didn't happen today so today I would call it a massive success and is that no there was something that looked like a snake but it is not uh, and then I had like a hundred meters to go for the 30 uh, 38k bit and my pace was saying 550 and I'm like yeah, I'm probably not going to get that magical 549. And then, like, the last couple of seconds, I looked at the watch and it said 549. I'm like, oh, yes! Whether it's stuck to that after I um got to the gate, or the fence, I should say, and um, walked after that is another question, but I know I did it, at least. Oh... My legs are pretty cooked, but I'm happy. I probably could have kept going for a marathon. Uh, would have been my second fastest marathon at that pace, so pretty happy. Uh, it was a good day out. Oh, funny enough, I'm not feeling hungry, but it's like I want to go to Missing Link and have a feed. So, oh, thank you all. Have an amazing day, and I guess I'll see you next time after I've recovered. Bye. Uh.